Oh, hey guys. Welcome to another episode of Crazy D's Equipment. So, if you guys remember a while, uh, about three or four videos back here, we did the auction video where I bought a Ford Funk conversion. Um, we've got it here. Um, the dock's been, been started, kind of started on it. We're going to pull that loader and stuff off today. But hey, right, guys, I want to show you that Funk. I'm really excited, and this is going to be a really cool project. So, let's go check that out and see what the dock's already done. So guys, this is the funk conversion. Um, it's a straight six version. They had a V8 version. Um, this one here is uh, is an original one, and you can tell because it has a cast iron uh, oil pan on it. Um, I did a little research. There's not a lot out there on these. I do know that the funk conversion was uh, something made by the funk aircraft company of Coffeyville, Kansas. So that's kind of cool. It's got another Kansas tie to it. Um, this is a one owner tractor. The gentleman who originally bought this thing had the, uh, had the uh, Ford dealership in, um, in Wichita, Kansas, put the funk conversion in it. Um, and he used this thing daily uh, when he was raising cattle. And then um, later on when he was uh, just to keep the farmstead going. So, but, um, we're going to remove the loader and um, a few others and I guess we'll just from there figure out what we need to do. So, Doc, what have you done so far? Well, so far I have removed the, the, back, the bolts from the, from the brackets on the back. On both sides I have two of the three on the front unhooked. Okay. So, you need to pull those and then you... All right, do I need, you said something about, I, I need, need to get... Yeah, because that's, that's the only thing that's holding it right now. So, all right, so where do you want me to come in with the forklift? I'm not quite sure how we... We, we want to come in from the side, and then we can roll the tractor back? I think so. With it hanging from the forklift? Yeah, I think so. So you want me to come in with the forks over the top? Yeah. And then you'll chain it up? Yeah. Okay, well, let's, let's get this... Let's get this, guys, and let's check this out. This thing's going to look so much better with this loader off. So, and if anybody needs a loader for their 8 in, uh, 9 in, 2 in, this one's going to go on the lot, 350 bucks, and you'll have a loader. So, anyways, alright, let's get this going. Okay. Mm -hmm.
that W9 into here? in and the loader's off and that is great because it looks so much better with that loader off of here and it really does kind of look like a rat rod tractor in a way uh, I don't aircraft aluminum dash um, you want where you want to go from next on this I mean we're not you know it's not gonna run today by any means but we can at least kind of get an idea of what I got to get you for parts most of the engine parts I can get from across the street yeah where the, I can get through what we do for the big shop, for the automotive shop, and I can get you that stuff. But you want to pull the dash today so you can at least get a good look at the motor and stuff? Yes, no, possible. Uh -huh. Think you can get the dash off? Well, not the dash, but the hood, I mean. I'm not sure if I can. You want to give it a shot? Uh -huh. We'll get it off, and then, it, then that'll give us... I mean, this thing's been stored in a barn for the last, I'm going to guess, 10, 15 years it's been sitting in a barn. Now, we were playing around with it earlier, and the, uh, the pump seemed to spin, and the motor seemed to spin. So, I'm pretty sure the motor's free, but just standing here talking to you, that's a half tank full of varnish now. That's going to take some cleaning. Um... I don't know what the other tank's like. We need to check out the radiator, see how it looks. I, I see some inf interesting spots, and I, you know, I'm using Doc's opinion. Is this good? Is this bad? I don't know where we'd get another radiator for it. We might have to take it to a R and D there in Wichita and have them rebuild the redo the radiator. That might be our only hope. What do you th probably think? Yeah. 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 So, all right. I'm going to step aside, you fetch your tools, get the hood pulled off, and we'll make our decision on where we want to go from there, okay? Okay. Plan? Yeah. We have the 9 sixteenths and some sockets. The 9 sixteenths is for to take off the, the dash apart. And then I'm not quite sure, but I think it's going to be either uh, 11 sixteenths for the bolts on the front of the hood, and then we should be able to pull the hood off, minus getting the uh, uh, fuel lines removed.
front half. So we have the front half. That's, that's upside down. <laughs> Good. So we have that part. So you, you need to come up from here. Loose here. Do you think that that uh, bailing wire is uh, factory? Think that's factory bailing wire? I think it is too. How are you going to cut those with a? Oh. Yeah. Oh, we just ran in more parts. All right, I'm gonna lift. You grab on this side. What is there? 130 ton gallons of old fuel in this tank? Yeah, I think so. Or okay. Now, that was that way. We need to, we need to let it'll it push down, down on the bit. front. Let it down a little bit. There we go. There we go. All right. Turn it, turn it. All right, roll it out of here. Got it? So now that we got the hood off, you guys can kind of see the difference here. Now a regular 9-in Ford like this would have a flathead four-cylinder motor in it. This here has a flathead six-cylinder uh, Ford motor in it. They also did a fun conversion with the flathead Ford V8. Um, this motor here, you're going to find a lot of them in the old grain trucks and I've seen them in old cars and trucks too, but I'm most common with this personal one and uh, the old grain trucks. Um, you went from 20 horses roughly with the old flat head Ford, four cylinder, four cylinder to the six here. What I've read and stuff, this is now a 90 horsepower tractor with that motor and I think it's even more with the flathead V8 but again uh, not a lot of information out there on these um, I've seen a few restored um, I think there is a couple little little videos on YouTube nobody really goes that in depth um, there is one of the show of, of the girl 
that does the videos uh, and where she talks about one at a at a show and kind of gives you a little bit basic information but not a whole lot so farmers did this uh, more horsepower that was always always what farmers are up to more horsepower more pulling ability more bigger equipment less time in the field and that's what this one here is all about now though this is going to be fun if we can get this thing up and running this is not just a plain eight in ford this also has a sherman and we've talked about those in prior videos before so this has the sherman high low on here and it feels pretty tight and pretty good so instead of being a 10 mile an hour tractor normally it made it a 20 mile an hour tractor i have no idea what it's going to be like with that motor in here on the road unfortunately it has a brand new tire on that side and it has an almost brand new tire on this side but they had calcium in the rims for weight because it had the loader on it but uh it is rusted out and it goes flat and the rim shot and these rims had been extended by a few inches to take the wired wider tire but um i think maybe i can get another rim like that i'll have to do again some digging and the doc's going to need to make me a list of what he needs to breathe life back into this but i pretty sure the motor's not stuck and then we can check that out here in just a minute so let's get the dock over here and let's kind of go over this thing and see what, what we're going to need to do i got a feeling this is going to be a a little bit of a project this thing's set for a while dock all right guys um just a quick look over on this thing definitely going to need to do some work on that carburetor Especially since that the set, there's actually two fuel tanks in that hood. The father went back, had fuel still in it, and it smelled like it's been there since they parked it. So I'm pretty sure that's going to be junked up. Well, and from the looks of it, it's been sitting open for a while in a barn. So it's going to have about 70 feet of barn dust inside the carburetor. Um, I know the next thing I'll, the next thing I'll have to, I'm going to look at is the distributor and get, I'm pretty sure the points are all yeah all corroded from sitting um you said that you would you guys have tinkered on or was goofing with it mm -hmm. and you said the pump was turning so i'm pretty sure that it is yeah and i i mean the belts are so loose that yeah oh yeah it's turning the bottom's the bottom's turning so it's not yeah. stuck we're for Which, sure of that that's, now. That's, that's great. I know one other thing this thing needs. What's that? We really ought to just, before you, have you pull that carburetor off and plug that hole. And give it a heck of a And bath. drag, before you even start working on this thing, drag this thing over there to the power washer and just let Junior Mint go to town for two hours on this thing. Give it one, one Every inch bath. of this, yeah. Every Jeez. inch of this needs a good scrubbing from barn dust yeah i'm yeah. yeah i feel a very long shower coming on tonight after messing with this so but uh i see a lot of rewiring work you're going to need to do yeah. and i'm going to do some cables and some stuff like that and i'm probably going to figure um you're just going to have to make me a list of what you need and i'll, I'll get you whatever you need i, I really I'm really on the fence on this one. If is this a keeper, or if this is going on the lot? And I guess it probably balances on how much it takes for you to bring it back to life. Because we're going to bring it back to life. I don't care how bad it gets. I, 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 I want this one running. This one's got to run and it's got to drive. This is no. This is not like the 601 that sits at the farm. And we're both sick of it yeah because it still needs some tinkering um this one's got we've got to complete this one i, I like to I'll be honest with you on this one because it's such a odd ball odd duck yeah odd duck it, to to put it depending on how much we got to get done to it but 
it's almost one of those things if we do sell it, I don't know about maybe in a lot, but maybe trying to get it into a, a collector's... I think you're probably right. Probably be a collector auction tractor if we do that. But I'll probably have you all do, do, no matter if it needs it or not, new plugs, new wires, new rotors, new cap, new all that. And those, and you know, if you look at these, I just noticed this, these all have the old Ford yeah. oval on the top. So those are all, are they, is that, would that make them original equipment? Um, not, well, possible, I'll give it possible, but, I mean, they most likely have yeah. got most of the parts from, maybe there's the possibility of getting parts from the dealership, from a dealership as well, so. I think, I was looking at this, Everything on the carburetor moves. Yeah, it's just going to need a lot of cleaning, and um, I'll find out t Monday morning. From once you get this yeah, off this and you get it cleaned up, and you let me know what carburetor that is, I will call over there and see if they can't get you a kit. But I mean, you're going to have to put the that one's going to have to go into dip. Yeah. It's, got, it's not going to be one it's that you're just a, going to can a carburetor spray and... Yeah, get all the brass pieces out and let it sit in the, mm -hmm. in the dip for... For a while yeah. and, and get it cleaned up. And look at this. Look at this radiator. This thing is... This, this thing is massive and... Yeah, it's... Is that... And I don't know. I'm not sure what it's. I mean, that's interesting. My question is has that hood ever been off before? That little piece of cushioning is still mm -hmm. in place on the top. And this, yeah. the fan shroud is ma massive on this back side. Yeah. It's not just. It's well, huge. Yeah. It's a All the way up the back of the radio, but for that... I'm curious, being what all that dirt and stuff. Yeah. What so, color that, that is underneath all that. Well, I mean, what do we want to do from here? Is this, uh, do you want to uh, keep going or do you want to call it a day on this project? I, I, we're at a spot we can... We can stop, stop for, right, for now, right now. And then you'll come in and we'll take it from there? Yeah. So... All right, well, let's get some things tidied up and then we'll go from there, so. So guys, before we let you go for the day, hey, if you're curious of what kind of a, what equipment we have on the lot right now, go to Omega Ag on Facebook and check that out. We got a complete stocked lot up for the spring right now. So if you guys are looking for something or whatever, give me a message and I'll see what I can do. I might be able to have, I may have the item you're looking for or have a lead that can get you to that item. Um, also, if you're just curious what what's going on with uh, me and the doc, and you want to see some more about the funk conversion and, and other projects that we get we got going right now, go to uh, Crazy D Equipment on Facebook. Check that out. And guys, thank you guys for coming in. Please remember to subscribe and please remember to share this video. But thanks for coming in and watching another episode of Crazy D's Equipment.